So my name's Mark Pascoe from the International Water Centre based here in, in Brisbane. We're a joint venture of universities, the Griffith University and uh, University of Queensland. We've been working with the Asian Development Bank uh, for the last several years on, on a production of not only this doc document but its predecessor, the Asian Water Development Outlook 2013. Uh, this is, has been a great partnership uh, between uh, two, uh, or IWC here in Australia, but not only not only us uh, through our other partners, but more significantly the other partners in, in uh, of the Asian Development Bank in the development of this this uh, pretty unique document. Uh, so we've been working with uh, IMI, uh, the FAO, uh, Tsinghua University, uh, and and as I said ourselves and the ADB under the auspices of the Australian, sorry, the Asia uh, Pacific Water Forum and, and ADB. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to now introduce uh, Yasmin Siddiqui. Yasmin is a Senior Water Resources Specialist in, in the Asian Development Bank uh, and has effectively been our client, uh, uh, but, but significantly our, our partner in the, in the development of this document, which was launched uh, six weeks or so ago in in Stockholm, and then those of you who were at the keynote presentation this morning, you got some insight into its contents. But over to you, Yasmin. Thanks to Mark, uh, to the IWC, to Australia Water Partnership, and to IWA, and uh, welcome to this book launch. As Mark mentioned, we launched this publication recently at Stockholm Water Week, but we thought it was good enough to relaunch, and I like that. Um, it's good to see that we have a big crowd here to uh, also receive this publication. The video that you just uh, saw at least demonstrates some of the challenges we face in the Asia Pacific region with regards to water security. And recent studies are showing that up to 88% of the population of the Asia Pacific region is likely to be water stressed by 2050. For this publication that we have, the Asian Water Development Outlook 2016, we already know that about 66% of the countries in our region, so that's 66% of 48 countries that ADB works in, are severely water stressed or water insecure. So there's plenty of work to be done. I'd like to perhaps reiterate the point that Mark made, which is that this type of publication, which is unique, it is the only water security assessment of the Asia Pacific region, this has been largely due to the strength of our partnership with the International Water Centre, International Water Management Institute, and other partners such as the Centre for Water Sensitive Cities, and FAO, OECD, the Asia Pacific Water Forum, and Tsinghua University. I think Mark and I have always agreed that there is a tremendous strength in partnerships and bringing collective knowledge from around our region and across the globe to contribute to publications like this. I'll hand it back to Mark. Uh, thanks, Yasmin. So we're, we're, we're looking to continue uh, that partnership, in fact. Uh, so th this is, this is a, 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 a series, one of a series. Uh, as we said, 2013, 2016. Our intention is that the next uh, be uh, 2020. Uh, and, and, and indeed, we uh, intend to grow that um, that partnership uh, in its Power. development. Governance yeah, so one of the reasons for including OECD, and Yasmin just mentioned OECD, um, is, that, is that we want we want to now look at some of the other key uh, m measures and, and indeed some of the cross-cutting themes. Uh, and governance, of course, is one of those. You'll see in the document uh, uh, when, when you, you can download it quite readily. Uh, uh, because there could be a rush here for these ones, I'm sure, in the moment. Uh, but uh, you'll see in the document that we've had a go at correlating the, perf the, the, the performance of countries against GDP and against a, a, a measure of governance. We, we want to enhance that, and, uh, and indeed we want to improve the, um, uh, the, the, the way that we've um, uh, developed the indices to date. Uh, and. So it's a, we're on a track to continuously improve uh, this publication. 
which indeed is something for for governments. Uh, it's a, essentially a tool to help governments and to help the bank and others uh, to prioritise investments uh, in water uh, against this this criteria of national water security. I think that's about enough talking. Uh, by all, by all means, come up and talk to Yasmin or, or myself. Uh, uh, or Eva Abal, I've just noticed Eva has arrived back there. Eva was a key person in the development of this document. Put your hand up in the air, Eva. I'm Eva Stewart as well. Uh, are you still here, Stuart? Yeah. Stuart. He's right here. Stuart Bunn from Griffith University. Eva Abal from University of Queensland have been key in the uh, production of, of, of this and, and indeed uh, partners along that path. So thanks everyone for being here and I'd like to I'd, I'd especially like to welcome uh, Yasmin here to Australia. She unfortunately has to go back uh, tomorrow morning and has, has not been here long, but um, it's really nice to have her participation. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. The launch is really important to us from the Asian Development Bank yes. and uh, this report was uh, co-authored with colleagues from Australia Research Centres, uh, from the International Water Centre as well, who played a very major role in the publication. Uh, we believe this presents a very good perspective on Asia's water security, a good set of league tables defining how the region is performing and a way for us to benchmark performance and the evolution of water security for our region.